Here is an example of a cornrow, also known as a Dutch braid. As with all these tutorials, I will first demonstrate a cornrow using coloured yarn which will represent the portions of hair to be braided. A cornrow, much like the basic braid shown here, wraps each of the outer portions into the centre, alternating outer portions. However, with a cornrow, the outer portions go under the middle portion as opposed to over to get to the centre as pictured. Outer portion goes under the centre. In this demonstration, the black yarn represents the entire section of hair to be braided. So first you would start, as you would, a reverse basic braid. Then, on the second go around, you would take a small piece of the sectioned hair and add it to the portion that is about to be moved under the middle and into the centre. Watch. A small piece of the sectioned hair is added to the portion and under it goes to the center. The forefinger and the thumb are guiding the portions into position, while your other fingers are used to keep the section separate, keeping it neat and uniform. Again, this is how using colored yarn is helpful in practice and in self-correction. As you can see, as you braid, a pattern develops. Using colored yarn makes it easy to see inconsistencies in the pattern. Now, let's look at a close-up of a cornrow on a head of hair. First, section the hair and create three equal portions at the start of the main section. As in the yarn demo, you can see that the outer portion is brought under the middle portion and into the center. Then before every pass under and into the center, a small piece of the main hair section is added. Take your time to ensure complete separation of the portioned hair from the main section of the hair. You can do this by running your fingers up the hair portion to separate. I find that now I'm working with longer hair, cornrows work better for me when done on dry and thoroughly detangled hair. I am able to work faster with less tangles and breakage. If you look closely, you can see that the cornrow braid sits on top of the hair section, as opposed to the French braids to the right, where the braid is hidden underneath the hair section. Once the hair section is complete and lifts off the head, continue with the reverse basic braid until the end. And that's a cornrow. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.